Police told us that man fired shots at police officers and said he would not come out alive. But we have also learned more information about who this man is. Now, take a look at this picture. This is a mugshot we got just a few minutes ago of the suspect. James Carlini is his name. He's 31 years old from Hazelwood. Police say this started early this morning when he fired shots at a house on 22nd Street in the south side and kidnapped a woman who lives there. He went to a home on Washington Street in Munhall. Three other people were inside there. And police quickly tracked him down. But when officers showed up, investigators say Carlini walked out on the porch and started firing a rifle. The officers fired back, and Carlini may have been hit in the neck. That started the standoff that would last about eight and a half hours. And authorities say Carlini had no intention of giving up. He told the witnesses that um, he wasn't coming out of there alive. His hope was to kill some officers and uh, be killed himself. Now, once officers went inside that house, they found Carlini on the second floor with a gunshot wound to the head and a gun in his hand. But it's not clear yet whether he shot himself or maybe have been hit by one of the bullets fired by officers. And just after word about his death came down and the SWAT standoff ended, I talked to the sister of that suspect. Autumn Tompkins was overcome with anger after hearing that her brother, the suspect at the center of this standoff, was dead. They waited hours after he was shot. He, they could have went in there with SWAT team and everything and had him out, had him to the hospital, took care of him. No, they waited until he bled out and let him die. But officers had no idea what the suspect hold up in the house had in mind. All of it unfolded in the heart of Munhall, Main Street, filled with police and paramedics, neighbors watching the dangerous situation from their windows and backyards. Kevin Williams took this video as officers cautiously approached the house. When I walked down there, Saw the uh, snipers on the roof. The SWAT team also used an armored rook to get a better look in upstairs windows. And a viewer sent us this picture officers on a roof right outside the home's window. Another neighbor who didn't want to be on camera told me he saw the suspect come out of the house with a gun and fire on officers who shot back, leading to the standoff. Schools in the Steel Valley School District were also shut down because of the dangerous situation that didn't end until officers knew the gunman was dead. Just unbelievable day. That it takes place in your time, my time. And police say it's not clear just yet exactly why Carlini started all of this, why he abducted that woman, but police do believe he had a previous relationship with that victim. Reporting live at Allegheny County Police Headquarters, Bob Hazen, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.